Aries, welcome in, my beautiful Aries. This is going to be your end of July. Wow, I really said July, your end of August. Sorry, guys. Read it, and this can resonate for you if you have Aries as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. All right, do only take the messages that resonate with you and your situation. Aries, anything that is not for you, please leave it here, okay? So let's get in, y'all. I know the last reading I did for you guys, you guys had something coming up, like a lot of past energy or something from your past, like circling back around. So let's see what y'all have coming in for the end of August. Wow, okay. So we got solar plexus chakra, wow, and third eye chakra, interesting. Then bottom of the deck, we have spiritual strength. All right, so yeah, I'm seeing a lot of assertiveness, especially with this solar plexus chakra. For some of you guys, maybe you have been like really feeling a lot of opposition. Okay, some of you guys have just been really going through a lot or just going through a lot of different changes. And with this third eye chakra, I feel like your intuition is really going to be helping you guys um, to kind of stay balanced and to take the action that you guys are needed to take. This is very, very different, Aries, because I wasn't expecting those two cards to come out. You guys got chakra cards. So it's like you are aligning. And I feel like whatever it is, it's going to empower you guys in a powerful way with this spiritual strength. This is about your um, resilience, okay? Your ability to, like, continue something. So it's something that you guys are doing, and I feel like you guys are really going to have to be tapping into, like, your intuition. That's going to be, like, your secret weapon. All right, let's see. Wow. Look at this, okay? So we have you very close to achieving your goal. Conclusions are within reach. And bring love into the situation, moon and Aquarius energy. So some of you guys may be dealing with an Aquarius or maybe you have an Aquarius in your charts or around you, Aries. But I definitely see something. You guys are like mustering up the, the strength to, to get through something. And it's like whatever this is, you guys are about to be really close to achieving your goal. I feel like you guys are needing to tap into your intuition and to your heart space as well. So that you're able to assert yourself, especially with the solar plexus chakra, because it's something that you guys are wanting to do. So you guys may be dealing with the Sag, okay? We got, <clears throat> look at the bigger picture. I'm surprised we ain't see throat chakra because my throat just went weird here. Maybe it's something you guys are wanting to express, all right? Um, look at the bigger picture. You guys are definitely just needing to press through. Aries, certainly, because y'all have this spiritual strength and this conclusion by within reach. I feel like something big is about to take place. Like it says, you're very, very close to achieving your goals. Okay, so I love that. Or your goal, <clears throat> whatever this is. So let's see what's coming through for my Aries for the end of August. Wow, Aries, this is powerful. We got the fool and the tower here. Both of these are representing your energy. Okay, Scorpio energy with the tower. You, this is a major breakthrough. Maybe that's why this is saying you're very close to achieving your goals. You guys are, it's something new that's about to start in your lives. For some of you guys, maybe this has already came in. For others of you with this tower here, it's something that you are maybe not even expecting. All right, wow, the high priestess. <laughs> Third eye chakra, your intuition. Wow. And then the tool cups. Whew. All right, with the chariot here. Some of you guys may be dealing with the cancer, maybe have that in your chart. But what I'm seeing, guys, is that something is about to move forward. Like something is about to pick up and move forward. Like when I say lightning speed, <laughs> lightning speed. Okay, you guys are about to take a huge leap of faith with something. There is like a huge leap of faith that is required or that's about to be taken in you guys' lives. And whatever this is with this high priestess, you feel it. It's like a deep inner knowing. For some of you guys, it's a major breakthrough, like in a relationship with this high priestess to a cup's energy. I'm seeing like something coming together, guys. Most of you guys, it's a relationship. Tower moment. Something big is about to happen, but it's in a good way. Okay, I see the initials C, the initials P, the initials M. All right, I'm definitely seeing like a union. Some of you guys are about to be um, moving. Some of you guys may be moving literally. 
like taking the leap of faith and just doing something like wow but using your intuition to guide you guys it's a connection here aries whatever this is you guys have definitely been through a lot okay i feel like you guys have been through a lot but i feel like you guys are just like you know what let's just start fresh somebody is saying let's start fresh wow so let's see this is powerful this is like a huge breakthrough I feel like your heart is going to be guiding you guys. With this, bring love into the situation. Moon and Aquarius energy in this two of cups. Your heart is guiding you towards something. It's a deep inner knowing here in regards to some sort of connection. Like, I feel like it's a, a revelation. Like, you guys are about to... <laughs> wow. I'm at a loss for words, Aries. What is this fool energy? The eight of cups. Okay, Libra, Taurus energy here with the Empress. For some of you guys, this, this could be the mother, father of your child. Maybe this is you with this Empress energy. Some of you guys are going to be just taking a leap of faith, like walk, walking away from a situation and just starting something completely new, like something completely new. With this Empress energy, this is um, a very abundant energy. So I feel like you guys are going to be like really stepping out there, He's doing something that is like, it may shock a couple people, but it's something that you guys feel like led to do. Two of Cups. Look at this. This flipped over. For some of you guys, this is a partnership. Some of you guys are about to like <laughs> take a leap of faith in a partnership. Some of you guys may be walking away from a partnership and starting a totally new relationship. But for others of you, I feel like you're going to be coming together with someone and it's going to be like something that you guys are just taking a, a risk with. Nine of Cups. Look at this. The Lovers. Yes. There's a connection here with this nine of cups. Like you guys have a connection where it's a lot of fulfillment. It's a lot of chemistry with this lover's energy, two of cups being here, nine of cups in the tower. It's like, for some of y'all, it's going to shock people or it's, it's something that's like maybe even shocking to you. But I feel like you guys have a connection where you actually feel super fulfilled. Okay. With this nine of cups energy in the tower, why is the nine of cups here? Yep, look at this. Six of Swords and then the Magician. You guys are about to make some sort of move. Some of you guys may actually be moving, maybe traveling to see your person. For others of you, I feel like you're definitely about to be making a move that's going to be shocking. It's something that you guys are manifesting that you're about to do, Aries. And I feel like it's completely new. Like, it is new. But it's like a good move. You guys are like, yeah, I'm about to make this move. Something that you guys want to do. And I feel like it's going to shock people. Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. You guys have been thinking about a move. And I feel like you guys are going to make up your mind. Yeah, for with this Nine of Pentacles, this has been something that you guys have been contemplating for a while. Maybe in the past you had some obstacles. Something that could have been blocking this. Whether it's a connection or blocking a move. Maybe a new job. Something like that. But with this Eight of Cups, you're walking away from that. And it's going to be a leap of faith that you guys are going to take with the relationship. Or that someone may be wanting to take with you. We have the four cups, the moon, and the star. Yeah, something that you guys want to do. But I feel like you guys could have been afraid to do it. Or there was a leap of faith required that. Some of you guys know that whatever this is, it's going to change a lot. And maybe you've been worried about that. Some of you guys may be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius. Wow, this is so powerful. This is definitely different than Eight of Pentacles. Something you guys have been contemplating for a while or working towards for a while. It's like it's all about to move forward. Let's see what the blockage is or what the blockage has been with this connection or with this situation. Because I see a move here. Something you guys have been thinking about for a long time. And I feel like for some of you guys, you were a little doubtful in regards to a situation. Maybe because with this moon energy, there's been some things that you guys didn't really know. But intuitively, like, you know, like, there's some wish fulfillment here. You guys just have to open up to it. And I feel like you guys are going to be taking a leap of faith. All right, let's um, clarify the blockage. Let's clarify the blockage. What's the blockage here? What's in the blockage? Courage. Wow. I find the inner strength to face through with confidence. What did I say? And then look, change. Like I said, with this tower here, it's something that you guys want to do. 
but whatever this is or something that you are doing that you're about to do and it's like you guys have been afraid of this because it's going to change a lot of things like for some of you guys like i said it could have it could require a move maybe there's distance between you and your person for some of you guys maybe you just want to do something completely new but whatever this is it's going to be fulfilling for you guys like there's something that you truly truly want to do and i feel like it's it's a go like this is definitely a go you guys are about to to do it. you're about to do it Somebody's going to find the courage to do it. For some of you guys, maybe you have someone coming towards you and they're going to find the courage to do it. Look at this. Ace of Swords in the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to get some truth, some clarity. Like, this is the time to do it. You got the star in the Wheel of Fortune. This is like, the timing is, is like perfect. Okay, with this Wheel of Fortune and the star being here, Aquarius energy. It's like, definitely, um, something looks really promising. Wow, that's some thunder okay thunder it is like a little storm going on i want to um look into this <clears throat> you're very close to achieving your goal okay aries because like i said something is <clears throat> coming around for y'all clarify this you're very close to achieving your goal what did i say physical activity you guys are about to have some sort of movement in a situation this could be a connection coming together maybe you're deciding to move go towards your person like physically move across town across you know to another state moderation here balance number 14 that breaks down to five and five is all about change yeah you guys are about to make some sort of move okay and whatever this is with this bring love into the situation you're going to need to be operating from your heart okay when you guys do this okay Clarify bring love into the situation. Wow. Parenting and individuality with domestic harmony. So, yeah, it's something that you guys definitely want to do. Okay, with this parenting here, for some of you guys, this may be um, regarding the mother, father of your child. For others of you, I feel like this is like something that you have to make a decision to do yourselves okay like i said it's something that may shock a lot of people it's something completely new but with this domestic harmony surrender it's going to bring a lot of harmony and pieces to your lives i feel like it is going to be a big change but it's going to be good this two of cups this could be a relationship coming together um a, a connection like i say you guys doing something that's really going to shock a lot of people with this connection maybe moving maybe this on into um you know, go into marriage. Something really, really huge. Three of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles bottom of the deck. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're definitely about to go into a relationship. It's like you're deciding to dedicate yourselves to a relationship. Maybe after being single for some time. Okay, for others of you, maybe this is just doing something that you truly love. Look at this, Aries. The Fool here, your energy. And then the Ace of Cups new love a new start yeah you have something new that you're about to to do i feel like this is like um a new love connection coming through this is ooh. and i feel like whatever this is you guys know like you feel it you feel this intuitively like you feel this strong nudge intuitively some of you guys are just like fearful because it's a situation that you need to leave behind maybe in order to, to do this or it's just going to require like a leap of faith. Look at this intimacy on the bottom of the deck and your spiritual card that came out. We have mythic reality. This keeps coming out. This came out in the general reading. So this is a message that clearly is um, something that's going on collectively. So this says something is causing you concern at present because you are viewing the situation from only one perspective. Look with an open heart and mind and you may see that a positive side also exists. Things may very well turn in your favor if you let go of preconceived ideas and rigid views. There are at least two perspectives from which to view every situation and what you see at present is only a part of the picture. Often what seems real to us may not necessarily be what is actually occurring. The true purpose of many of life's events is often unclear because of our false assumptions, fears, and misconceptions. There is no need for concern. Just allow things to naturally unfold and all will become clear to you. 
Remember, you may not have the power to change the world or many of the events in your life, but you have the power to change your perception of them. Wow. So, yeah. But some of you guys, this is in regards to like a connection. Okay. Clearly, we have intimacy here. Y'all got the two of cups here twice. Like, yeah. So, I definitely feel like there's a move you guys are going to make. And look, you can tell with this, it's like a path here. Okay, so I definitely see a lot of um, <laughs> powerful things taking place. This is something that you guys are going to know how this resonates with your situation. Because I see like a huge shocking, like something with this connection, y'all. It's, it's, it's unexpected. But it's, it may shock a lot of people. But it's a connection here nonetheless. So this is what I have for you, my beautiful Aries. If you guys did enjoy your reading, do let your comments and subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.